Hey, this is Mike from Helium Street. And if you're here, you're here for one of two things. Either you're looking to put connections on your ethernet wire. So you're gonna wanna learn how to put those RJ45 connectors on, um, or you're looking to repair a damaged piece of ethernet, maybe in an outdoor installation where you need to make sure it, when you're done, it's waterproof. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about how we're handling our PoE devices. Uh, we've already talked a little bit and you can check out the video that's listed in the description section of this video on uh, talking all about PoE injectors and splitters for both the Bobcat and the Rack version 2. But today we want to talk a little bit about uh, Ethernet and it's it's something that uh, you know I've been I've been buying a lot of pre-cut wire but it's you know become more and more uh, complicated. We are finding the need to be able to wire up a ethernet for uh, little jumpers. We need little jumpers sometimes, and then we need to splice into some uh, some systems uh, occasionally. And being able to have the skills to put these connectors on is pretty important. And so, do I, so today I wanted to talk about the Klein tools um, and these, these uh, strippers, the twisted pair radial stripper, as well as the compact pass-through modular crimper from Klein Tools. And then I've got a little package here of the uh, Cat 5E and the uh, Cat 6 connectors. When you buy your uh, uh, wire, you need to make sure that you buy plugs to match. Did just look at the wire, you're gonna see it printed on the side of the wire so that I know this is a Cat 6 wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this Cat 5E plug uh, over here because I'm only gonna be doing with the cat, dealing with the Cat 6 today. So let's go ahead and go through how it is that you add one of these plugs to the end of a wire. RJ45 plug, very common. Um, it's what every one of the miners has on the back of it. Um, and when you're getting into PoE, those, these all have the, that exact same type of connection on these injectors and these splitters. So basically this Klein Tools stripper I, I picked up uh, on Amazon. You go ahead and put the wire through and the distance that you pick here isn't like critical. You might need to play with it a little bit, but a good rule of thumb is to, to go back two times the, the length of your RJ45. So if I go here and then I go back again, the same distance to about right there, I'll just go ahead and put a mark on it right there with this um, Sharpie, okay? And that's where I'm gonna strip it. So I go ahead and there's, basically you take it and you put it on the inside and there's a little tiny, there's a small razor blade inside there and you line it up and then you twist it around two times, pull it off and then you pull it to the side like this and you pull it off. And then you'll end up with what you, you would traditionally know as the twisted pair. So it's these colors right here. Each one of these are twisted pair sets. So you've got your blue and your blue stripe. You've got your green and your green stripe. You've got your brown and your brown stripe. And then you have your orange and your orange stripe, okay? Then you have your, um, your reinforcement uh, plastic on the inside, which helps keep the integrity and of the wire and keeps all those twi twisted pairs separated on the inside. So I guess you could call those separators as well. Uh, I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors and I'm gonna go back as close as I can without touching any, any of the other wires. And I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, so now I untwist the twisted pairs. All right, so now you see that I pulled on them with my fingers and pulled them through my fingers to straighten out the wires so they're not all curly. And now you have all eight wires. I'm gonna, we're following um, the 568B standard for our colors. And, and basically I know that's what this wire is already because it already has that exact same color scheme on it. If you look through there and you look through the clear plastic of the RJ45 connector, you can see that exact same color set so you're exactly the same order here as you are here okay so it goes goes orange stripe then it goes and look i've got my my clippy part is on the back side okay and, and you're always looking through the clearest part of it so you always have that clip on the back 
Okay, that's a good rule of thumb is that you always want to have the best view possible of your wire colors. And so your clip's always facing back because if you turn it around, it's hard to see what the colors are with this clip in the way. Okay? All right. So that's exactly the same color set. So now I need to take this, this end of the wire and I need to put it in exactly the same order. And that order follows the 568B standard. So I'm going to pull orange stripe first, orange stripe, and then it's orange, orange, orange stripe. Next is going to be green stripe. And I'm holding them in my fingers now. You can see how I'm holding them. And the next one is the green stripe. And the next one is going to be solid blue. The next one is going to be blue stripe. The next one is going to be solid green. Okay. And then it's going to be brown stripe. And that goes in my finger. I'm still keeping them in order. I'm pinching them nice and tight. I don't want to get them goofed up. And then the last color is solid brown. So now I have all my, all my wires in the exact order. I'm going to double check that. Okay, so the key here is to get these all cut off nice and straight. Okay, so I'm going to keep pulling these together. Keep getting them closer and closer. Sometimes you got to kind of like fan them out a little bit just to make sure. You don't want to get a wire to flip over the top of another one. Okay. Just cut them off and make them all nice and straight. And then you take your plug and you lay it into the side here. And then you feed them through, just like that. There you go. You keep pushing it so that your insulation is right up in the top here, right inside the connector. So let's verify that we got the colors in the right order. We got the orange stripe, and then we've got orange, and we've got green stripe, and then we got blue, and then we have blue stripe, and then we have green. And then we have brown stripe, brown. All right, so we got our, we got, got them all in the proper order. We've got it fully engaged and pushed up into the connector, okay? So the next step here is to um, use the Klein uh, crimp tool. And what we're gonna do is when we put this in here, not only is it going to depress this, um, this little mechanism right here on the side, right here that crimps down on top of the wires that gets the wire connections. Um, but it's also going to um, uh, trim off the wires off the tip. Okay. And so basically let's get these bundled up again and then we're going to put it through and you can see how it like follows the profile pretty, pretty exact. Okay. And so the wires are sticking out the other side and you depress it all the way and let it out. And now they're fully trimmed off. You can see all the little pieces of wire just fell right off. And now you have a connection that matches exactly the one that was from the factory. And you can see how this will engage right into the Bobcat and it'll engage right into your rack version too. Now, next step, not only is to make sure that um, you're, obviously you need to make sure your wires are in the proper order, uh, but you also can use a tester to test it. And I've got a tester, let me go grab that. All right, so here's the tester that we use. And this is a nice little tester, it's compact. And the way that this works is that it has a little receiver. You can go all the way back to like the one end of the wire, and that would be like um, maybe where your router is. Unplug it, put your RJ45 into the RJ45 slot, and then you would go out to the miner, wherever that is. It, you know, it, these are typically longer runs, right? Just to make sure that we've got good wire. We want to make sure, especially when you put an end on yourself. And then you'd go ahead and plug that one into the RJ45 um, clip on the bottom here. And so now you've got one end has the receiver and then one hand one end has the tester. Push the button and it passes. So this is a nice little tool also from Klein Tools. We get the, it's really, Klein's awesome. You know, these guys, not only do they sell you the, um, the crimp tools and the strippers and the testers, 
but they also sell the plugs. And also I just wanted to mention that you can use uh, either Cat 5e or Cat 6 with these PoE devices. Uh, the It doesn't matter if you're using Cat 5 or Cat 6 for this type of stuff. So either will work fine. Cat 5 is a little bit less expensive than the Cat 6, but um, you choose whatever you think is the right for right way for your application. Um, in most cases, Cat 5e is no problem and it'll save you a couple bucks. Uh, you can check this out on uh, heliumstreet.com and get the links to all these different products that I use, You know, or you can go to the description section of this video and also, while you're at it, check out the PoE uh, video that we did for the Bobcat and the Rack Miner, where we talk about uh, the different um, splitters and injectors that we use. These are all a really good solution to uh, get power out to your miner in remote locations where you don't have maybe 110 volts uh, sitting at the pole or sitting on the roof or wherever you might be. I'm at a site it's uh the, the snow's melted in the midwest in certain areas and so I'm getting back out and uh troubleshooting some of my problems that I've had over the winter I did a winter installation as you can see here I've got my uh my cat six in this case it's a variable variable cat six but it it just had to lay and since the ground was frozen I had to just lay it on top of the um on top of the ground as you can see and um we a couple weeks ago we had this uh uh, our bobcat here went to yellow LED, and it was because we were no longer getting any internet. And so this is a PoE uh, PoE installation, and so I'm running uh, power and Ethernet through this Cat6. And so I had to come out and uh, diagnose it, and so I brought out my my uh, my Klein tools, uh, my tester, and I tested it at both ends to see where what section of the Cat6 was bad. And then that isolated it down to one area because it had a, another a splice point further downstream. This is a pretty long one. This is about 280 feet of Cat 6 that goes out to a, um, a pole installation. So we came out and we isolated it and I'm basically putting, cut out the bad spot and putting new ends on. And then I've got a waterproof connection here that I picked up on Amazon. And um, I'm just gonna temporarily at least, uh, well, it's not gonna be necessarily temporary. This will be a permanent fix, but I will need to come back and bury uh, this line, including this uh, waterproof connection. And so basically what you do here is you uh, cut out the bad spot and then you, uh, then you slide over the pieces and then they plug in on both sides. Let me take this one off. That's the, this end, there's two of them, right? So there's one here and there's, there's one here and then there's one here and then this waterproof connection goes in between and that's where the two uh, RJ45 connections plug in on both sides and then that all gets screwed together and you can see there's these O-rings and then on the ends you'll see it has the typical um, waterproof rings that, that seal down over the Cat6 and so that all gets screwed together and it makes it a waterproof uh, connection. So it's a repair. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, but I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that when you have a, a bad line like this and you diagnose it and you find a spot, you don't need to replace the whole the whole wire. Um, you can come out and you can fix it and you can add one of these waterproof connections. I'll, these are just, um, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks on Amazon, but I'll, I'll leave a uh, link in the description section of this video and I'll go ahead and, and leave it for this and I'll also leave it for these tools here that I use. And so this is the tester that I use uh, and I show how to use this in other videos, but basically you just plug it in on one end and then you plug in the other end of the Cat6, could be you know 280 feet away, and then you just push the button and it will tell you whether or not there's a uh, uh, connect, or an open or a short. And so in my case, it was both. Uh, I was open and short because this, because uh, some wires were touching and some wires were touching other wires, um, and then there's other wires inside this um, these twisted pairs that were completely cut. So, yeah. Anyway, um, and so yeah. Also, I'll leave a link for the my I have uh, pass through Cat six connections, and also I keep in on hand Cat five 
uh, connections just in case, um, depending on what I'm working with. So anyway, hey, thanks for uh, watching this and we'll catch you next time. Thanks. So three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, that's not